Good day everyone! I am Michaela Flora, your math instructor for today, and welcome to this new episode of my educational video. For today's lesson, I am going to tackle problem solving using Polya's four-step problem solving strategy. So the given problem is all about the number of pigs, ducks, and pigs. With this given scenario, the number of ducks and pigs in a field totals 35. The total number of legs among them is 98. Assuming each duck has exactly 2 legs and each pig has exactly 4 legs. Determine how many ducks and how many pigs are in the field. As we proceed, we are going to solve it by using the Polya method starting with understanding the problem. So the problem here with my own interpretation is there are 2 possible numbers and if both are added, the sum will be 98 legs from both the ducks and pigs. Suppose that the possible numbers range from 5 to 30 based on getting half of 35. The problem is to de determine the total number of ducks and pigs in the field. So the next is we are going to devise a plan. And dito is we need to make an organized list that shows all the possibilities. After that, as we carry out the plan, Dito na natin i-apply yung paggawa ng list of possible numbers na kakailangan natin for this problem. So yung mga possible pairs of numbers na gagamitin natin is based on the total number of pigs and ducks in the field which is 35. With their combined total number of legs sa 98, kaysa first step dito sa makikita natin first um, table, para mas madali siya I use the I use the smallest and largest number na pag in is magsasakop din siya sa 35, which is 5 and 30. Ginawan ko to ng pattern na puro by 5 siya para mas direct and madali lang makakuha ng sagot. Then after nun, since we assume ng ducks ay may exactly 2 legs and pigs with 4 legs, we need to multiply the number of ducks and pigs sa number ng legs nila na 2 and 4. Ayan, 2 and 4. To, to determine kung mag nga siya sa 98 or not, so for the first try, multiply ko yung 5 and 2, which equals 10, and 30 times 4, which equals 120. Pag pinag-add ng 120 and uh, 10, magto-total siya sa 130, and makikita naman hindi siya sakto sa 98. So, we need to try another set of uh, numbers. Next is, uh, yung 10 and 25. Ginawa ko, uh, uh, multiply ko ang 10 sa 2, which equals 20, and 25 sa 4, which equals 100. Getting the total of 120, which is hindi pa rin siya swap. So, we need to uh, try and try ang sa makuha natin 98. For the third try, uh, I used 15 and 20. So, 15 times 2 is equals to 30, and 20 times 4 is equals to 80, which sums up to 110. And Kita naman natin na medyo nalalapit na, pero still, kailangan pa rin natin mag-try para makuha yung exact number na 98. For the fourth try, I used the numbers 20 and 15. 20 times 2 is equal to 40, and 15 times 4 is equal to, it's equals to 60. Pag pinag-add sila, ang magiging sum is 100. And dito, dahil nakikita natin na 100 siya closer sa 98, Kailangan for the next pair of numbers, mas uh, konti na lang higap, mas maliit, and need natin mas maging cautious sa pagpili para hindi, para yun nga, um, uh, sumakto na yung sa next try natin. So dahil nga doon, sa ano na yun, ang ginamit ko ng number is 21 and 14. So 21 times 2 is equal to 42, and 14 times 4 is equal to 56. So pag pinag-add siya, yun nga, uh, same siya sa mismong given na 98 and align siya. So, ibig sabihin as we review resolution among the list of pairs of numbers, only one pair became accurate two numbers which are 21 and 14 that if multiplied by 2 and 4 the product will be 42 and 56 having the sum of 98. Therefore the total number of ducks in the field is 21 while for the pigs is 14. With that this ends the discussion. I hope may natutunan kayo and makatulong itong video na to for better understanding about using Polya method in 
solving different problems. Again, this is Michaela Flora and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.